Hi, this is Ed Gregory for PhotosInColor.com and today I'm going to be talking about what Adobe Lightroom is and why I think every photographer in the world should be using it. Theme tune! Okay. So today I'm going to be talking about Lightroom because I get asked so many questions all the time exactly what is it, why would you use it instead of Photoshop or some other product. So I'm going to be talking all about that today but before we get started I'm trying out this new thing up here click this button and I'm running a poll. Okay, so answer the question that is up here and tell me what you think so that I can start figuring some things out about my audience, which is you guys who completely rock. Rock fingers, join them up. Anyway, so what is Lightroom? Well, Lightroom is part of Adobe's Creative Suite or Adobe Creative Cloud and I think it is massively powerful. Now, quick disclaimer, they're not paying me to say this. I have no affiliation with Adobe whatsoever. I just think their products rock. So, what is Lightroom? Well, essentially, you take a photograph, you wanna edit a photograph, and then you wanna show it to the world. So you've got the middle section, okay? Edit the photograph. That's where Adobe is really key. So you've got all of your camera companies, and then you've got all of your ways to share all of your stuff, and Adobe sits in the middle to really enhance your images. So a lot of people ask me, why Lightroom and not Photoshop? So this is really important. The, the, the specific differences is this. Photoshop is strictly just for editing an image or even enhancing, changing, adding, compositing. Like you can do so much inside Photoshop with layers and basically create a work of art by adding lots of things. What Lightroom does is you can only edit what is already inside the file. Now there's some slight changes to that, but that's mostly what it is. So mostly what you take with your image, that's what you can edit. And then it also is your cataloging and organizing and all of those things. So let's talk about Lightroom specifically. You import your images to Lightroom. They're stored in a file on your computer, and then Lightroom uses that as a reference. Now, if you use Photoshop or any of these other editing things, essentially what you do is you take your image, you upload it into Photoshop, you make some edits, you save, and then you save it as a separate image, or you save everything on top of it, and then that's just it. But if you save it as a separate one, you now have two versions, which is great, but you're using twice as much space, or you save it as a Photoshop file, which is editable, but then that file size is gonna be huge. Some of mine are three, four, five gigabytes in size. I do a lot of manipulation over there, of advertisement and stuff. But what Lightroom does is this. You have the original, and then what Lightroom does, is it creates a preview inside Lightroom. And then you add on all of the edits on top of that, but it only references the original image. You're never duplicating it or making more versions of it. So that means you could have 10 different edits of the same image. You have one image file, and then it just references 10 different edits on top of it. Absolutely amazing. And what that means is you're not just wasting hard drive space. And you use um, virtual copies to do that. So that's just one thing that you do inside Lightroom. The other thing with editing is this. Essentially, you take a photograph, you've got all of the data and information stored in the file. Lightroom allows you to manipulate that data by changing the exposure or adding a little bit of color to it or, or, and things like this. But it's using what is already in the file. Photoshop allows you to add things that weren't there. Okay, like a composite. You could have me like this, then I could add an orange into this. Lightroom, you can't add an orange sitting on my right here, it just stays blank because it wasn't there. It's a simple explanation. So why else Lightroom? Well, you import all of your photographs and you store them on your computer in whatever file that you have selected to have all of that done. But then inside Lightroom, you can have that image appear in multiple places. So I could have, uh, I could have gone on holiday for the last 10 years, for example, and I have each of my holiday photographs in its own folder. That's amazing. But then inside Lightroom, I can then collate those into holiday. So now they're all in one place, but the original file hasn't moved. I can also split that into subsections, say restaurants and beaches. So I can hit beaches and it might bring up all of my beach photographs from all of my vacations or holidays 
and they will appear in a folder inside Lightroom. But the original image hasn't moved. Massively powerful. Now there's one extra step that Lightroom does with these files which don't move, is you can have them on an external hard drive. And then you can unplug the external hard drive and have it in a cupboard somewhere. But Lightroom, because if you store the catalog on your computer, which is a really small file, like really small, like a couple of hundred megabytes usually, um, and essentially what you can do is you can then load up and it brings up all of the previews of it. So you can still edit them. You can still look at them. You can do everything, catalog, uh, catalog them and everything without the image even being on your computer or connected to the computer. And then the only time you need to actually connect it is if you want to export it. So add those edits to it or whatever. You then plug it in, it relinks it all and you export it. So that means you can have a catalog with hundreds of gigabytes of photos. Yet on your computer, you could just say use three gigabytes for your photographs and have hard drives with all of this. And then once you're not using, so I have hard drives from 2005 filled with photographs. They're not plugged into my computer because I don't need them. They're just in a cupboard. However, if a client comes to me or I want to go and find those photographs, I find them within Lightroom. I make sure that I've made the edits or anything. I get the hard drive, plug it in, hit export, and everything works amazingly. <clears throat> the power of Lightroom is incredible. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now, other things that you can do, you can organize your photographs using star ratings, by using color ratings, by keywording and keyword hierarchy. It's so powerful, it's amazing. You can export for print, export for web. You can create websites inside it actually, like web galleries. You can create slideshows for clients inside of there. And you can even get books printed or exported to PDF ready for print, all from inside Lightroom. So essentially it is the home hub of your entire photography business or if you're an amateur photographer and you do it for fun, you've got thousands of files, it's just your home for all of your images. You can then export in, um, you can then edit in Photoshop and bring it back into Lightroom to do your final export. Amazing, by roundhousing it. I have a tutorial on this called Lightroom Workflow, I think. But anyway, that's all I'm gonna say about Lightroom today. I just wanted to give an overview for all of the people out there that are questioning what is it? Okay, it organizes your photographs and it allows you to edit the information that was already there. You can't edit things that were not there. You can't do graphic design inside of Lightroom. It is massively powerful and in my opinion, every photographer or amateur photographer or whatever in the world should be using Lightroom or software like it. I personally think Adobe Lightroom is the best. So anyway, that's my overview. If you liked the video, please give me a thumbs up. And remember, I have a huge training course here on YouTube all about how to use every single aspect of Lightroom. Drop me a comment, tell me what you think, ask me questions, I respond to every single person. That was my pact of 2016 to answer everybody, and I am doing. So please, get in touch. If you like it, thumbs up. If you don't like it, thumbs up. But this was Ed Gregory for photosincolor.com.